Hi there, in this video we're going to be solving proportions with fractions. Now to start, let's talk about a proportion. Remember a proportion means that you have equal fractions, okay? Um, and so let's talk about just solving a proportion. Um, I'm going to look at the example, um, say 8 tenths is equal to n over 5, okay? And so what we want to do, this is just a normal proportion. This isn't a proportion involving fractions. So if we wanted to um, solve this proportion, we do this by the cross multiplication method, okay? Where I'm going to take 8 times 5, all right? And that's equivalent to saying 10 times n, all right? And we have now a linear equation that we can solve. We can multiply 8 times 5. That gives us 40 and that's equal to 10n, and then divide both sides by 10, all right, and we get that n is equal to 4, all right, and so what we want to think about is that, you know, 8 tenths is equivalent to 4 over 5, all right, they're both going to give us the same decimal value of, uh, they're, you know, they're, they're both equal to 0 0.8 if you found the decimal value, um, and, and that's the idea, that's how you want to solve that, all right. So let's take a look at a proportion um, that involves fractions, okay? And so what you see here, we call these complex fractions where you have a fraction inside of another fraction, okay? Where your numerator itself is a fraction and your denominator is a fraction, all right? Same thing over here. And so at this point, what we want to do is I usually group these and I, I put parentheses around my numerators and denominators so that I can see those quantities and I can see the big picture of that this is a fraction it looks like there's just you know it's a little confusing to see all the you know a fraction on top of another fraction so I usually use parentheses to show that so that you can see that um, but let's go ahead and just solve this the same way we just did the previous one only now we're dealing with fractions instead of just you know integers so um, let's cross multiply both of these all right and I'm gonna do five eighths times three halves, okay? And that's going to be equivalent to y times five fourths, okay? Um, or five fourths y, however you want to write that. Now, at this point, we've got a little bit of work to do, all right? We, what we want to do is multiply um, this, these two fractions together here. So remember, we want to multiply straight across. We're going to do five times three, which is 15, eight times two, which is 16, and that's going to be equal to y times 5 fourths, okay? And so, um, you know, the next thing we want to do to solve this is to divide both sides by 5 fourths, okay? Another way to do that is to multiply by the reciprocal, all right? So, you know, typically we don't, um, you know, that's that keep, change, flip thing. We don't normally... Um, you know, divide by fractions, we want to multiply by the reciprocal. So multiply both sides by four-fifths, all right, um, and then your fours are going to divide out, your fives are going to divide out. So on the right side of your equation, you're simply just with, left with y, and then you've got four-fifths times fifteen-sixteenths, all right, and you can do this a couple of different ways. Um, you know, we can, we, we can just multiply across on both of these. So 4 times 15 gives us 60, all right, and then 5 times 16 gives us 80, all right, and that's equivalent to y. Each of these now are divisible by 10, or, yeah, let's try 10 first. No, we can do 20. Yeah, we can divide each of these by 20, and then you are left with then uh, that this is 3 fourths is equal to y, okay? And that's how we would do that. So I know it's a little tricky uh, to see one like this, but um, those are the steps you want to go through. So there's nothing different. It's just that now you're operating with fractions inside of that. So hopefully this works. If not, let me know, and we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.